In the last video, we looked at using integration to find the area trapped between a curve and the x-axis. In this video, we're just going to work through a few basic examples. In the first question, we're asked to find the value of the integral from 1 to 4 of 3x squared plus root x. So in this particular case, we're not asked to find an area. We're simply going to evaluate the integral. So I can write that the integral, and I'll call it i, i will be equal now to, and we've got the limits of 1 to 4, we're looking at the integral of 3x squared, plus now we've got the root of x, which is x to the power of 1 half. So we're integrating with respect to x. So we can now say that i will be equal to, and I'm going to raise by a power and divide by the new power. So I'm going to have 3x to the power of 3 divided by 3, plus x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. So I'm raising by a power and dividing by the new power. We don't need a constant of integration as this is a definite integral. So we're going between the limits of 1 and 4. So just tidying this up, we can say that i will be equal now to x cubed and then plus 2 over 3 x to the power of 3 over 2. And we're going to now sub in these limits. What we do is evaluate 4, we evaluate 1, and whatever we get when we evaluate 1, we subtract that away. So let's go ahead and do that. So now if we sub in 4, what we're going to have then is 4 to the power of 3. So we can have 4 to the power of 3 plus 2 over 3, and then we're going to have 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Now as you can see from this, I'm putting these in, and I'm doing this in the style that you would be expected to in a basic exam. So whilst you can probably do this in your head, you need to show the examiner what you're doing. Then we're going to have now 1, and that's going to be simply 1, because any 1 to any power is just going to be 1, plus now 2 over 3, and then we're going to have 1. So like in the last video, I've subbed in 4, I've subbed in 1, whatever I get when I sub in 1, I simply take it away. So we've got now i will be equal to, this is going to be 64, 3 cubed is 64, the square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed is 8, so that's going to give me plus 16 over 3. And then I'm going to subtract away now 1 plus 2 over 3. So let's evaluate that now, and we can put that straight through the calculator. So we're going to have now 64 plus now 16 over 3. And that's going to give me, on that one now, that will give me 208 over 3. So we'll have 208 over 3, so 208 over 3. And then we're going to minus from this. If we look at this, this is going to be 5 over 3. So we can say from there that this is going to be on here, we're going to have 203 over 3. So 203 over 3. So that is the value of the integral. So all we've done is simply gone ahead and evaluated. So integrate, plug the numbers in, subtract away. OK, let's move on. Let's look at something else. We're told the diagram above shows part of the curve C with equation y is equal to 1 plus x multiplied by 4 minus x. The curve intersects the x-axis at x is equal to minus 1 and x 